Hello guys, thanks a lot for your support. As I started a channel with uh, network security and cloud related certifications, how I did these certifications and some basic topics which I am trying to cover. So I'm very happy that I got uh, more than 100 subscribers. So I am expecting more to come and discuss with me about these things. So if you have any questions, you can comment on, uh, uh, on my videos. If you want me to make a video on any of the certifications, yes, I will surely do that. But today we are going to see one of the important certifications which we had from EC Council is EC Council Certified Security Analyst. So I'm going to show you how I did my ECSA. Now, if you see it's being replaced by CPAN, but still it is being offered as a training. There are a lot of people who are interested to understand how to do ECSA, which was very nice when you want to work in penetration testing. You know, you do pen test plus, or you do EC plus, ECSA, or you do you know ethical hacking, but this was one of the nice certifications which we had. So I'll just show you how I did my ECSA. All right. So if you show here, if you see here my screen, uh, it talks about how I did my ECSA, global certification. So this is a badge from EC Council, EC Council Certified Security Analyst. <coughs> Sorry. So these are 12 modules. Introduction to penetration testing methodologies. You will understand about penetration testing, scoping and engagement methodology. What is open source intelligence? How we do that? What is social engineering pen testing methodology? Network pen testing methodology, internal and then external and then parameter devices. Then you got web application pen testing, database pen testing, wireless pen testing, cloud pen testing and report writing. So this is very important. We follow some standard when we need to get started with penetration testing. So we understand what are the different contracts which will be signing before we do the penetration testing. Yes, now depending on the environment, but mostly you'll be doing network penetration testing. You'll be doing database, wireless, cloud, and we need to understand how to write that report. So there's a brochure which is available here. I will uh, include that in description so it will be helpful for anyone who is interested to go for this certification so 12 modules so it's a five days training 9 a.m to 5 p.m so minimum 40 hours you need to spend so it has got two exams one is v10 and one is practical so that was the latest version which we had ecs ecsa ec council certified security analyst so 150 questions you got to pass in four hours you need to make an account in EC exam center, multiple choice questions, passing score is 70%. Now, you also need to make an account in Aspen portal to download this content because you need to go through the PDF which will be provided by EC Council. You can purchase their lab to do the practice. So this is for practical. Once you do for this weekend, then you go for the practical exam. So there'll be eight challenges which you need to do in 12 hours in iLab. So, five out of eight challenges and submission of acceptable pen testing report, right? These are the resources I have covered in one of my videos. You need to watch these four websites to prepare for this exam, BC plus IT exams, exam topics, and YouTube, search for the practice questions. EC Council will not uh, appreciate, EC Council will not allow you to cheat in exam, but yes, you can search for some practice questions to see what kind of questions they'll be asking in. So yes, there are some self-study modules also, which you need to learn yourself. So 23 modules. What are the essential concepts? What is password cracking pen testing? What is DOS, stolen laptops, PDA and cell phone pen testing, source code pen testing, physical security pen testing, surveillance camera pen testing, VoIP, VPN, virtual machine pen testing, war dialing, virus and trojan detection, log management pen testing, file integrity checking, telecommunication and broadband communication pen testing, email security pen testing, security patch pen testing, data leak pen testing, SAP pen testing, standards and compliance, information system security principles, information system incident handling and response, information system auditing and certification. So 23 modules. So you will go through the training where the trainer is going to explain you all these topics with the lab. And these are some self-study modules for you to go in detail to understand about these things. If you are done ethical hacking, security plus, it will be easy, but yes, this is recommended. So planning for the exam, I would say spend one month, six days to go through the course content, maybe 
two days. Uh, one day you can take two modules. So you're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six days to go through the content, four days to go through the self-study module because these are also very important. Although you can see questions from this, but you might also see some questions coming from this. So it is recommended that you go through these self-study modules also. Six days to go through the lab, very interesting labs, and three days to go through the practice questions. So one month is the minimum time you know you need to spend. So this is uh, important about ECSA, EC Council Certified Security Analyst, one of the most important certifications which we had, or else you can also attend the training for ECSA. Uh, so if you are done with CH, then you can go for ECSA, and then you can go for LPT or APT. So this is how you can choose your path as a pen tester, or you can do pen test plus from EC Council PT0002, the latest version, and then go with ECSA, and then go with LPT or APT. Right, so this is still available. Still, you can find some training uh, for ECSC. Right, so thanks. Please do keep support, like, subscribe to my channel, keep supporting, and I'll come up with some other videos. So, till then, see you. Thanks a lot.